Hey guys, it's Ify here. <sighs> Today was a doozy. Um, this is my living room, my family room. This is my little puppy. Well, let's see if I can sh He's like growling. Oh, he's <laughs> seriously my favorite. We were stationed in South Korea and we got him there. He was only 20 bucks and he's been my best friend for the past like five and a half years. I love him. Um, well today, I got into a big fight with my ego this morning, or rather this afternoon when I was taking a shower. Um, I think my ego is pissed that <laughs> I told you guys yesterday in my video that the ego doesn't serve us and doesn't really mean anything. Um, because now it's been in my head louder than ever. I told you also that I can hear my angels talking to me, my guides, which is a beautiful thing. Um, the other thing is though, I hear them and then I hear my ego at the same time. So it's literally like if I had the good angel on one shoulder and the bad angel or whatever you want to call it on the other shoulder going back and forth. So I screamed really loud. Uh, <laughs> I just got mad and I started to cry in the shower. And then all of a sudden it came to me, I should just talk to my ego. It's a part of me regardless if I want it here or not. And it's been with me for most of my life, I would say, except for when I was a really young kid. Um, and it was really interesting, actually. The more I started talking, and acknowledging that the ego was there, the story that I was getting was that my ego was just trying to protect me because that's what it's done all of most of my life. And um, it didn't even realize the ego, which is obviously a part of me, and I know this might sound kind of loopy, but I don't know how else to explain it. It almost sounded as if it was just this other person that's been in my life trying to just watch after me and thinking that my ego is protecting me from society and life because, you know, it can be crazy out there. Um, so I just decided in order for me to hear my guides better, um, because, you know, my biggest thing right now, I know I'm pregnant. The ego will act up to protect me because I've had so, well, not so enough. <laughs> There's still a lot regardless um, because I've had five miscarriages previously that is just protecting me from something that it thinks could happen, although it won't. And of course, when I am at that point with my angels and my egos and which one is which, right side or left side, good or bad, if you will, quote unquote, because I don't like labels, but we don't really have anything else to go by in this human experience. So, um, yeah, I just... It's been really, it was, it was interesting. And once I kind of acknowledged the ego and it was just there and I could talk to it in a way that was more understanding, if you will, um, it really just, I decided I'm going to ask my ego questions first and realize that whatever the ego says, I should do the opposite of. <laughs> um, I know somebody had asked me about negativity and how to banish that. And that is, it's a great question. It really is about... And for me, I just come back to gratitude and compassion. So I will start to do like today when I was freaking out and crying in the shower because my ego was telling me one thing about my pregnancy and I know my angels and my body is telling me something completely different. And even though you might know, there's still a bit of fear attached and the fear is the ego. Um or part of the ego rather. So for me, I just come back to gratitude. Like I'm really grateful for running water right now. I'm really grateful for this beautiful little puppy who just stays by my side and loves me. I'm grateful for the house that I have, the roof over my head. Um, I love you. <laughs> He's the sweetest. Seriously, not little, I mean, he just makes me so happy. I'm just, I'm grateful for so many things and it's the little things that really count. It's the little things that are really the most important because that's what stays with you. I'm grateful for the loving husband I have. I'm grateful for the experience of pregnancy. I'm even grateful for my miscarriages because as much as it sucked going through them at the time, they were really resourceful and insightful and just a lot of lessons learned. Um, so I start with that. I come to a place of gratitude and I just really do it frequently and often, especially when I feel like my ego starts to act up. Um, compassion also is another thing. Compassion for myself, compassion for the people around me, for people I meet, because you know, you can never judge a book by its cover. You may think that somebody has it all together or you might think that somebody is 
poor and homeless or whatever just by the way they look, but to have compassion for them or other people, you're really having compassion for yourself because you know, this is, we are all made from the same stuff. We all come from the same exact place. We are all the same and we are all one and connected. So when you are doing a good service and a good deed for somebody else, if you're so stuck in that negative space, go volunteer, go and do things that really just pull you out of yourself and have compassion for somebody else. Have gratitude for somebody else. Have gratitude for the little things in your life. Running water, the, your car, the fact that you can afford gas in your car to drive from point A to point B. It could even be your fur children. I mean, whatever it is for you, go there. And this is a daily practice. And today, not only was it a daily practice, it was literally <laughs> almost a minute by minute practice because it was just difficult for me to get out of that space. My husband's not here with me, he's on a training, and you know, I don't have anybody really to pull me out of that space, so I rely on myself right now until the people come. You know, I've been asking the universe, send awesome people to me who resonate and vibe with me and we can learn from each other and just love each other from a mutually beneficial space. So, I know you guys are out there, and we will find each other in some way, shape, or form. But I just wanted to get this little message out to you and let you know that you're not alone. I may be a really high vibe person and I will always find the silver lining in everything that has happened, good, bad, and everything in between. But I still have days, I still have moments. And being pregnant while my hubby's on a mission <laughs> for a, many, many months, um, that was kind of difficult, especially that I can't even tell him right now but one of the cards I pulled today for myself was about forgiveness and healing for not just myself I mean for myself most importantly but for everything else that's happened so I forgive any transgressions from anybody past present and future and I forgive myself most importantly and have compassion for myself and come back to this place of gratitude for myself so I hope this message helps somebody else out there today. Just being able to talk about it and get it out of me <laughs> really helps a lot to free and it takes those feelings away and it doesn't give those feelings any power whatsoever. So maybe another suggestion could be try talking to somebody who you trust and who you jive with on, like you could trust with your life even. And if you don't have those people, you can reach out to me because I totally understand. Or start to journal. When you journal and you write things down and actually taking your pen to the paper and writing it, you're bridging both hemispheres of your brain. So right and left come together to form one and it's much more strong cohesion and a bond. And even just getting it out on paper, or this for me is vlogging, getting it out on a video is just super beneficial because the more we keep it inside, the less it, good it does for us, really. It's really powering and freeing to get it out. So go and tell somebody something how you feel and start to incorporate gratitude and compassion in little baby steps and realize that this is not an overnight thing. This is a journey. I've been doing this journey, I guess the spiritual journey hardcore. My miscarriage is 2014 and then going even, I would say, four years ago when I started to search... Um, the holistic health and wellness field to heal myself. The food factor was a huge part of my journey. I healed myself from ailments and I lost 70 pounds by, you know, just studying and researching. But part of that, the clean food and the clean food, you know, things, sorry, pregnancy brain, the clean foods that I was eating um, really just helped to raise my vibration even more. So be mindful of the things that you put in your mouth. Be super mindful of the people and the company you keep. Take a look at your five closest friends. Your five closest friends and their personalities are going to resonate with where you are in your journey. You really want to keep your company clean and you really want to keep positive, happy people around you. I mean, I've had to break up with a lot of friends, which makes me sad because I'm such a compassionate person, but their vibe no, ma no longer matched my vibe and not that I still can't love them and come from a place of compassion. I can't keep them in my immediate circle. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So be strong. I love you guys. Thank you for those of you who are here. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below and I will be posting videos where most, well, I'm loving this daily thing and I will get more into the card readings. Um, today was just an emotional day. So I'm going to go off and watch some Netflix and cuddle with the puppy and I hope you guys have a 
fabulous rest of your night. Smooches. Bye, guys.